so good evening all of you uh, uh all are welcome to today's webinar for azure machine learning so this was actually planned uh, yesterday but due to some uh, unavoidable uh, technical issues we had to postpone it to today and i really thank uh, uh, daniel for uh, making out time and uh, having this last minute uh, uh, postponed and scheduled to be for this webinar uh, this uh, webinar is like hosted by dear ashore and it is free and here we are striving for uh, this uh, providing you all and all the azure learners a simplest learning path for micro like learning microsoft azure and we have uh, already uh, completed like already hosted 12 webinars from august we started from august we try to have it on weekends but again as per the speakers availability we need to have uh, like this is the one which is on weekday so uh looking forward for your uh, more participation in future webinars also and uh, i would request daniel to please uh, start the session thank you uh, thank you thank you gasam and hello everyone and thanks for having me and i also apologize for the yesterday uh, uncertainty and the call of the session yesterday but it's a good sign if we connect again and that's the uh, webinar of marketing of azure machine learning and the purpose of this webinar to educate the people who are working professionals who are career beginner and it has a passion and enthusiasm to learn something latest technology trend of cloud computing as you know the uh, the world world is a cloud computing for the last couple of years the very very much emerging things and the services the thousand of services with the third party as well as the other cloud as well that's a very important topic uh, and uh, right now i'm just talking about the machine learning and the, with the ml studio with the tool as well and i have a very few time slot uh, so i don't want to be the many thing in this uh, in this webinar but unfortunately i don't have much time for that but i'll cover uh as much as i can uh through these webinars so that is started without any delay okay uh, about me uh, actually i'm the backers of azure mvp and i'm three times consecutive mvp on azure platform and working with uh, microsoft locally and middle east and africa as a, a community trainer and cloud technical evangelist on microsoft azure platform uh for last three years and i had been a uh, Eight year experience in IT industry, and I work in uh, software development side, IT pro side, and project management. And currently, I'm working on Azure SaaS pack and I'm a cloud pattern uh, as a Azure architect solution as a consultant. And I work and also be a, a machine learning part some of it. And of course, the cloud cross platform development as well, because uh, in this era, uh, the technology and the Microsoft welcoming to open source technology so the cross platform and the other technology they can be both together and then the result will be more uh, so now uh, today agenda is azure machine learning with ml studio the machine learning hello Uh, others, name? please go on mute. Okay. Okay. Can other can please mute their mic so I can start uh, start my, uh, my presentation. Yes, Daniel, start start. Okay. Uh, so now we talk about the Microsoft Azure platform and what is machine learning and machine learning studio that's a very important topic and this slide uh, is much relevant for that uh, as you know azure platform is a very huge platform and people working around the world and in pakistan as well a lot of people working and start working and do some freelance project and some very big companies adopted azure platform from the business point of view and there are a lot of services and it's a very huge platform for learning that's a very important part and um, I, we just targeted the machine learning part and what is machine learning first of all we discuss about what is machine learning and then i try to introduce 
the machine learning studio how they can be getting started and uh, how can you use machine learning studio what the new feature of it and how you can uh, manipulate your uh, data through the machine learning part so so that's the main three agenda of this webinar so we talk about machine learning basically we when we talk about the machine learning so we always say that it's the machine learning as a service it's a, it's the very beauty of the, this technology as well so some particular domain has connected to the other services so that's the uh, I, I call that and other people call that the machine learning as a service we use machine learning and uh, we integrate other algorithms uh, strategies and uh, other services in the machine learning so we call that uh, machine learning as a service so now we we talk about introduction to machine uh, your machine learning uh, basically, it's a fully managed cloud services uh, that enable you to easily build, web deploy, and share productive solution to the internet. So Azure Machine Learning basically uh, to fully manage service on the cloud, and Azure has a, itself is a tool of machine learning studio. You can be use other machine learning. Okay, so in the my next slide, the next slide is that the traditional programming. The traditional programming, we have data, we have program, and computer goes to the output. That's about traditional programming and the, the legacy from we, we all use in the past uh, couple of years, the same traditional programming frame. But in the machine learning, you have a data, you have an output, and computer produce the program. So that's a, some sort of mechanism of machine learning to traditional programming to machine learning. Uh, so we'll move on to the definition side and the machine learning. Uh, I like the uh, second definition. It's uh, uh, very, uh, very much easy and it's still easy to understand for the concept wise. So Arthur Samuels in 1959, the machine learning. The field of study that gives computer the ability to learn without being explicit is the program. And the Tom Mitchell said in 1998, well, post learning program. So that's the thing a computer program is set to learn from experience E. It's the suffix basically E, the experience. With respect to some tasks T and some performance measure by P. If it performance on T, S major by P, improve with experience E. The, the thing, the definition is basically happened with E, P, E, T, that's the thing. But the concept is the, the computer program is set to learn basically from the experience. And as well with the respect of some task that's performed, and the performing task is measured by P, which is called performance. And if it performs on the task, the T, S measured by performance, which is called P. And improve with the experience of T. E. So that's a Tom Mitchell definition of machine learning. And then to understand the, uh, the Tom Mitchell definition is quite a practically approach like that and we think uh, and we see the thing how they can computer program and set the experience and respect with the TL well. okay so this is the productive analysis services and as you we talk about Azure machine learning which is uh, Feb 2015 Azure machine learning Amazon April 2015 and the Google cloud data lab in beta so that are productive services, the machine learning and uh, big data and the cloud computing. So this is the Azure machine learning that's a built for cloud first and mobile first. This is the uh, slogan of the uh, Microsoft and the as well, the mobile first and cloud first. So that's the thing, the fully managed, no software to install. You don't need to any hardware to manage and one portal to view and update integrated part is a simple drag and drop feature and connect interface for the data science 
no need to programming for the common task. Uh, I'll show you uh, after the slide, I show you the summer demo how you can drag and drop your uh, data set in the clustering and you can manipulate it and you can write some of the code for the customization aspect. But you don't need to be the basic program for the drag and drop feature. It's just like uh, we did in Visual Studio and WinForm, which is drag and drop buttons and the other uh, common things on the form. That's the same thing on the machine learning studio. So the integration part is, 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 is pretty much easy. And the best in the class algorithm. That's an algorithm uh, of the best in the class algorithms built in collaboration of best paired algorithm support R and Python for extensibility. It's the beauty of machine learning. You can write R and Python at a time. Let's suppose uh, if you're good at R, so you can write R for the algorithm transformation and customization as well of your data set. If I let's suppose I start working with Python, so I'm good at Python, so I love to write the Python as well. So that's the compatibility of that, and you can be extensible and the best in the class algorithm you can write over there. Uh, there's a no tool to install and write and connect your machine learning. That's the it is the full screen environment is the one environment and you can write you can drag and drop to manipulate you can draw and start and you can deploy and you can basically uh, test your services as well which is run on the azure machine learning studio or of course uh, once you've done it and the, the second part and the second phase is the deployment in a minute but we uh, before that machine learning we mostly use for r and python on the mat uh, it's, it's, it's a uh, the legacy things right now and uh, it's a very long process to write and to add library over there and to write the code and set the things uh, Migration and the main and the other part and then the algorithm We write it down, but it's uh, It's the next procedure is to deploy the service deploy your solution to the internet So this is the one package you can deploy in a minute operationalized model with a single click in a machine learning microplace. So that's a full flash of it, the full manage, integrated, best in class algorithms, and deploy in a minute. So, so that the next slide is the type of machine learning task. So that's the very important part of supervised learning, unsupervised learning. Some people call that structured data, unstructured. So that's that's the thing. So the supervised learning, what is supervised learning? The supervised learning is the computer is presented with an example of input and their desired output given by a teacher. And the goal is to be learn a journal rule, the map input to output. It's a label data, you can consider it. You have for some of the information of supervising data. But in the unsupervised, there's the, you can say that the reciprocal of that. There's a no label, no data, and a good example is the spamming as well. They are giving to the learning algorithm, leaving it and it want to find the structure of the input. You have to be fine to the structure of the input, the unsupervised. One. So that's a two major types of uh, supervised learning, unsupervised Excel, and reinforcement as well. This enforcement as well. The third is the web some of the bar. But this is the two major types of machine learning tasks, supervised learning and the unsupervised learning. So that's a machine learning problem and the unsupervised learning and supervised learning as well and continue and discrete it. You have a classification of category. Second unsupervised is the clustering and the supervised learning, the continue is the regression and the dimensional reduction. So that's a, a some sort of the machine learning problem to add supervise and supervise learning to continue and it's data. Now, now the machine learning processes. So that's a processes mechanism of machine learning processes. You have the raw data on the left. You apply the pre-processing data and the data with prepared data of iterate until the data is ready. And you have the Bottom of that, the data processing module on that. And we, the data is prepared and iterative on the, the cycle is apply, prepare data, apply and prepare data, and then move to the apply of 
learning algorithm to data. The learning algorithm to data to go, move on to the candidate model and candidate model to move on and, uh, and iterate to find the best model on it. That's a machine learning algorithm. You can use the machine learning to as well. You can write and use the algorithm as well. And then you can deploy a choose of the model. You can deploy in a minute on the web and choose of the model of the application. Uh, let's put on your marketplace as well. You can deploy marketplace and you can be through the web services of machine learning. That's our process of machine learning. And now it's what is machine learning, Azure machine learning. So basically I just, as you know about Azure machine learning, provide tools for create complete predictive analysis solution in the cloud. As I told you before, my last slides. So the quick create task operationalize and manage the productive model. And the second is, is the Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Studio, the collaborative interactive tool of large amount of large number of models and experiment on it itself. And you have the collection and data set over there. And you can build, test, deploy, and the productive analysis solution on your data. And that's the beauty of thing that drag and drop data set. The, you can drag and drop your data set in the machine learning part and analysis your model onto an interactive canvas. The canvas is, uh, uh, is on it, machine learning studio, and to connect them to, together from an experiment which can be run in uh, machine learning studio to deploy, to test, to write your uh, code as using R and Python, and you can run it and you can deploy that. So that's the beauty of the uh, machine learning and machine learning studio tool to provide to the single environment to do this kind of task and you can be add your itself the color string and imagining the k-mean and regression and a lot of uh, other algorithms and uh, experiment and galleries are available out so why machine learning azure machine learning the four major things is the cloud based in the minimal set of cost with ability to easy scale computer and storage and capacity fewer barriers to enter that's the uh, the, the main impact of the cloud based things and the second part is data integration that's a very important part the data integration and through the azure machine learning that is easy to integrate your data from various data sources. It's, uh, it's no requirement that no restriction from any other platform. They can be open up and you can easily integrate your data from the various data sources. And the co uh, common tool set. You can collaborate in co common tool set to build and train your model and using advanced algorithms. Let's suppose you have a common uh, tool set available and Azure Machine Learning Gallery itself you can provide you the collaboration of common tool set and you can build and you can train your model first the data model first using the uh, something uh, advanced algorithm and you can customize your uh, algorithm and you can you implement it on it. and the last part is easy to deploy your train model as consumable web services that's uh, that the four major things are uh, why use azure machine learning so that's the basic basic workflow and uh, the build from data and operation of machine uh, machine learning solution the data collection and management the bill of and tables of azure storage and hadoop azure insight relation data and azure database and massive data storage of azure data and you can be run this of data collection of the ml studio which is Web based and create machine learning model style. And you can be deployed and you can be out, you can see the output of the web services that can run on the schedule basis and connected your uh, database and they can be run and give you the result after that, train your model. And then can embed it to uh, uh, any intelligent devices and to the Power BI tool and the website and uh, the any other device you can be embedded the ML model. So that's a, a basic workflow of machine learning, the data collection and management, 
and run your uh, databases and tools itself and relation database itself to run on ML Studio, deploy, and then embed it the ML one. So this is the full picture of machine learning. This is the uh, we can we can say that this the uh, infographic of machine learning in ML Studio. This is the classifications, the clustering, recommendation, the regression. That is the law. Everything of machine learning and machine learning studio features are available on. This is the machine learning studio uh, capability overview itself. And you can use the cross browser, drag and drop of ML workflow designer. Zero installation needed, and you can be import, process, split, build, train, score, deploy, and test itself. Good. Your classification. The data source itself, the data source is available. Uh, what data format ML Studio are required? The CSV format, SVM Lite, TSV, Excel, ZIP. ARWF and the data source itself on the left side, the Azure B Law, SQL Server, and so on. And that's a full image, and you can easily uh, see the Microsoft uh, Machine Learning Studio capability overview on the internet. Uh, I'll gonna show you uh, how you can be learned these things and very quickly and very easily. So this is the thing of uh, machine learning. This is the ID, the web ID, machine learning studio, and we can through the model of ML web services and the consumer is part of Power BI. That's the same mechanism of it of data storage. You have uh, RDBMS, NoSQL, HDFS, HDMI, that, that the cloud storage. And the second part is the local storage to upload your own data set, your own data to the workspace of environment, data set, train model, or untrained model. And you can be the, the model is train of the machine learning algorithm itself and they can be posted off and you can deploy itself of Azure marketplace and Azure ML gallery is available for the community point of view so you can be uh, use the Azure ML gallery itself and use your marketplace application for business uh, business application so this is the the, the start process of Supervised learning flow. Uh, this is the cross validation of feature selection, the feature scaling, training ML algorithms, and modeling evaluation. And the final model and the model publication. This is the flow of the process, the key subset of uh, original feature data and attempt to reduce the dimensionally of the, the training problem of uh, a supervised learning flow of the uh, revision of the. Uh, machine learning algorithms and how can be working and the final model can be done. So this is the description, the description description interaction locally and Azure platform, the max storage volume and MS service of, of max data volume is 10G and the vector itself and troll policy and black box, the no debugging, no scaling and no your own right of algorithm. So this is the killing feature and clear feature of R, the quick support of R modeling and R script. So it must have you are good at probability inside some kind of thing. So you can be easily write uh, the R language a quick start itself. And that's the second part is the Python. The Python you can start the, the quick start when you click this link and you can be move on to the, the Azure support and the Python script. Which can run on machine learning tools. These are very two languages you can use for writing the code over there, and they can be work. And the publishing the REST API and the real-time model versus batch model they are available. And if you if, if you want to use the the gallery, the built-in Azure ML experiment, so you can be use the ML gallery and share your community, and you can use itself for the learning point of view. And the market is available on the software service store. And the thing is, the free, and then we can start the free. That's the thing. So I start from the ML 
uh, and the machine learning blog is available and for free resources you can use azure research the online documentation and the azure ml documentation they all are available on the internet so uh, this is the view of uh, ml studio the access through a web browser no software and no need to be installed any uh, third party software collaborate work with anyone uh, anywhere through the azure workspace position with end to end support for data science and the best in the class algorithms intuitive library or cover a big support for r and python and rapidly try a range of feature of ml algorithm and modeling the study so that's uh, uh, the, the screenshot of the look of the machine learning studio now the cognitive intelligence tool the integrate as part end to end tool and the data source application and sensor and device application and that's the information of the data factory data catalog and event hub and the second thing is the big data storage is the data lake storage Uh, uh, integration of core uh, so now this is the thing so uh, i'm going to show you getting started now move on to the demo okay uh, so this is my experiment so so i give you for the experiment i just click the last project this is the machine learning i have a two uh, name of test ml and hello ml which i created okay. uh, in 2017 in the first one. and the second one was 18 now i want to create a new i just click the new and there is a some data set available this is the local for let's suppose i have some of data for the classifier so i can upload it over here and the second type the model i have a uh, already a gallery model which i discussed in my ppt and this is the project of preview and the experiment so i want to show you the some of the experiment this is already built on it which is the gallery i can use the train test value of multi class classification open in studio I just click the open it tool. This is the built-in feature. This is the uh, by default and a bit of multi-classification data set available. I just click and <laughs> on my. There is uh, some of the data set are available. The sample database. There are a lot of database are available. If you want to learn more about data set or want to learn uh, to manipulate something, you can you pick pick one of them, uh, which is multi-class classification. And there is a train model. The train model is. the total competition already on it and there is a lot of option over here but i don't have much time to understand each and everything but i point point it out some of the very important features and the highlight the important part of it okay so there is the experiment property in the draft and the code and the summary as well and this is the python language model it is the execute script this is the execute script. this is the execution script and i can write the script over here and then i can implement it okay uh, sorry to interrupt sorry to interrupt pass over here Yeah, hello. 
Uh, yes, Daniel uh, Kasam here. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, hello. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Hello. Daniel, can you hear hello. me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, I think there is. Uh, I'm facing some issue with the machine which I have started the. meeting i really don't know what's happening so you continue with the demo but uh, if at all something goes wrong guys please wait for 2 to 3 minutes i will rejoin and uh, restart it for sure for sure okay uh, so uh, so that's the thing and this is the feature i'm going to show you the feature the feature of uh, machine learning let's suppose i just click the result of it it's the things is blocked once i start run the sample of the test and emulation of multi classing few seconds i'll expand and then it can be show the result it yeah now it's running now uh The clock is still happening. So I just can wait. If the clock is up, so the check of the import data. This multi-line decision is up and running, and the import data and split data is on pause. Yeah, yeah please. Actually, uh, yeah. So. I, I want to show you the the quick overview of machine learning studio. So that's the not a small thing to uh, expect each and every uh, feature and to try to uh, show the demo of uh, each and every part of it. But that's the thing that the machine learning uh, this is Azure machine learning. So I just click it and move on to the home home and studio itself. I just click the home. This is the ML studio. You can be learned. Uh, many things as you can. The machine learning of Workbench or the previous version, and of you can start learning the full fledged learning of what you of machine learning, and the ARM, the Web APIs, ML Hands-On Lab, download ML infographic, build in Jupyter Notebooks, so each and everything uh, in the ML Studio learning. So you can use it uh, from here, and there is a documentation of Studio to build and publish your experiment. Getting data, create and running experiment, and quick for R and Python and public experiment. So that's uh, everything is mentioned. So that the purpose of these webinars to uh, educate that how you can learn from from which resources. And this is my uh, official uh, Azure account. So the it's already welcoming to Daniel Singh Khan, and this is my workplace, my recent workspace, and. Um, experiment the recent experiment which I done it and my experiment. So you can use it for me, and I just click it and move on to the studio. This is the studio version. This is studio dot azure ml dot net. You can easily visit. It. <laughs> this is my studio. So there is the left. Uh, let's have the projects, experiment, web services, notebook, data set, train model, and the second. So I just click the train model, and this is my train model, which is over here. I add some projects. This is the none project. This is the data set. There is no data set found, so uh, I did not add any data set of it. So obviously, it will not show the any data set. And this is the experiment. So this is a very important part for the learning. Let's suppose you have the experiment of the visual experiment. You can use it, and this is the sample. I click the samples, and it's just loading. And there is a bunch of samples now, which is finished. This is some of the data set of processing, consolidation, and the spirit, and a lot of data service are available on it. So uh, I just show you the other data set. So you can see 
uses the Microsoft samples of machine learning set. There is a lot of famous data sets are available, and you can pick from them. Uh, let's suppose you can want to check the KMI, the KMI algorithm, which is very common and very useful. I just create the studio. As always, it's open on the uh, studio window over here. It hardly takes few seconds to run this experiment. You have a patient, you have, you have to be wait for a few seconds. Maybe possible some of the technical issues from the my side may be possible, but everything goes perfectly fine. So the ML studio takes some time to cite some experiment to the machine learning studio. Sometimes, so I have to be waiting for. By the way, this is my email, South Central US. This is our work, it's okay to see. I think there is a, some of network uh, issues from my side, I guess. So that's why uh, the experiment is not loaded over here, but I, I try again. Let me try again. I just press the page and let's see what will be happening. On it so maybe possible is some of the technical issues from uh, the technical end so just forget the things and try to connect once again if it works so it would be great uh, I'll just pick okay. this is the fraud detection I just click this experiment of it Maybe it will work. By the way, you can you can uh, click the experiment and uh, click the button of the studio, and then the the whole data set are available on it, and you can start that from there. And the result of the experiment is shown. So now uh, we move to the other side. This is the cognitive side. Uh, we can choose the cognitive side itself. Uh, this is the cognitive. Uh, I think there is some uh, internet and technical issues, so maybe possible uh, uh, it's not open that. Uh, but uh, this is the environment of machine learning studio. You can uh, avail these services of a studio. Dot azure ml dot net and 
uh, you can start learning from uh, the, with the practice of Azure ML Studio itself and there is a lot of information available on it. So if you have any question regarding this, you can uh, feel free to ask me and I can answer you. Hey, Kassam, you are there? Yes, Daniel. Yeah. I think maybe the some of the technical issue. I don't know what what happened. With that. Hello. We can hear Hello. you. Okay. So if if there is any question about that. We can facilitate the question and we have to be wait of this experiment. If it works, so it would be great. So I'll just uh, show you how can you run it on it. If there are any questions, you can feel free to ask me and then we. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, it takes more time to do. But uh, if you have any question with regard to that, you can feel free to ask so I can uh, answer your, your question. Daniel, you are not audible properly. You can go on mute. You can go on mute for a while. You are not audible properly anyways. Go on mute for two, two minutes. Let it get complete. Thank you. So now finally it's running. So uh, I'm gonna sh show you how they can work. I just click the the, the run button and the experiment will be done, and then we can check what the outcomes about that. So if you have any question about that, you can feel free to ask me because this is the uh, the last demo, and after that we call up the session. Uh, hi Daniel Ramesh here. I just I have I'm in very new to the hi, machine Ramesh. learning. Uh, I'm very new to okay. machine learning and I'm I don't have any background from development and the coding and all. So as I understand uh -huh. the, from overall the webinar, I mean your session, it's all about the arranging your data, I mean raw data, I mean unmanaged data to any particular meaningful data, right? Uh -huh. With using of uh, machine learning studio or algorithms or whatever the program user you can say we can use R or Python whatever it may be so by using that thing we are managing the data in meaningful way that that is the mode of the machine learning right mm -hmm. or it's some other motor for that thing so I, I'm maybe I'm wrong or I didn't I understand correctly or wrong way I don't know so I'm very new to this technology first of all. Yeah. Uh, basically it's a machine learning uh, uh, we can say that uh, I show you the machine learning side. Let's suppose uh, the machine learning home. I just okay, okay. I just open the ML Studio. Uh, you can use the ML Studio side, the uh, Studio Azure dot net. This is the full information of machine learning. What are prerequisites for that and uh, the whole experiment on it. But I I just uh, share with you some of the very important details. Let's suppose what is machine learning type, what Microsoft use machine learning, and how you can use machine learning studio to manipulate your data or supervise learning and supervise learning. So that I uh, think that's very the major part of it. Once you start machine learning from the scratch, the first these uh, uh, thing which I told you about the machine learning, that's the very first step for that. And then there is the huge thing to learn something, let's like suppose you count yourself at a adapt side, you should learn on R and Python and the other uh, probability statics. So that's a uh, very resourceful website. You can start learning from them. And uh, yes, you are right. There is the data you can be manipulate on it and you can uh, add your experiment of machine learning the studio and then you can learn and deploy through the uh, machine learning studio to the anywhere. So that's uh, uh, the whole documentation and on the algorithm.
I infographic. Uh, if you need it, I can share with you, or you can be start learning from them. There's a deep dive with Azure Machine Learning. So this is the regression and clustering, k-mean, classifier things. There is a very very good book. There is a you can say that there is an infographic for that, and how the multi-classing and the two classification can work together. There is a lot of things to learn in machine learning. There is an uh, it's, it's not enough for one hour and two hour session. It's not easy for the presenter itself, and not easy for the uh, the participant itself to catch everything of the machine learning. Side. But there is a lot of resources are available on it, so you can start learning. So that's a very good resources for that. By the way, you can uh, after the session. You can feel free to contact me. I'll uh, share the more uh, experience and the more important uh, data with share with you. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and how secure the data if you are uploading to the machine learning studio? How secure the data is? Yeah, that's a very important part to secure your data. Uh, but uh, there is the SLA, the software license agreement, a service license agreement available on it on the internet. Uh, once you visit the Microsoft uh, Azure website, so there is the SLA terms condition are available on it. I don't remember the exact quote uh, of SLA of machine learning, but there is a security of it, and you can put your data and you can manipulate your data. This is a tool of uh, for the security itself. So it would be secure, obviously. If nobody can use because you have a ID password for it, it's just like that. Uh, you have your own rights. Of course, there's a password which not be the admin admin stack. But I think uh, you uh, like Microsoft uses this data for their studies. I believe uh, when you go for uh, like signing in this uh, machine learning studio, there is there comes some terms and conditions. Wherein, uh, like I'm not 100% uh, sure, but I have read somewhere like when you try to use this data, like even when you use cognitive services and you put on your data to for an uh, uh, like analyzing something like just for a demo, they uses that particular thing for their uh, studies for it means like for improving their models. So I'm yeah, not sure, I mean, like, but still, yeah. Hey, uh, uh, I uh, use machine learning for last couple of years. Uh, it is quite secure, and I, I prefer the other companies itself that are using. And there is no any serious threat for the security purpose. Uh, one more last question from my side. Uh, uh, do we require any programming, like, I mean, coding or programming language to move into the machine learning uh, platform? Or uh, anyone can actually. I'm from purely from platform. I mean infra infra side. So I don't. I'm very less knowledge about programming and coding and writing programs and scripts and all. I'm very. I don't have any idea. I can say. So for machine learning platform, if I want to move machine learning platform, do we require any programming language? Need to know. Yeah, obviously uh, it depends. Let's suppose uh, if you. I consider yourself in a function type of machine learning and data science. There is a uh, some sort of the research and statistics field for you. If you are willing to learn some of the programming language to uh, write algorithms and manipulate your uh, solution on it, so you you need to be learn R or Python. If you are good at uh, probability or something of the math kind of things, so you can be easily learn the R R programming. Language. And if you are good enough for the Python, it's a very, by the way, it's a very easy language. If you work hard and focus on that, I think uh, maybe, maybe possible. I don't know how much you are good observer, good learner, but uh, if you are from IT pro, or obviously you work for the PowerShell and the other scripting side, so you have a some of background of that. You know how to work with that. So maybe uh, two and three weeks is much enough for you for. Uh, learn Python or R. Yeah, okay, thank you, Daniel. I'm done. Okay, great. Uh, is there any question? Uh, yes, Manoj here, Daniel. Sorry, Manoj. I joined a bit late. I must have missed a few of the sessions. Uh, what I wanted to know is, like, for machine learning, uh, is it is it required? Like, like uh, what I have read is people have been saying that Python is the best way to uh, get into the machine learning, so that it, it's it's a bit easier. But uh, what I have been doing is I have been doing the coding in .NET and the 
at the cms part so how how that is like whether it is true like if you feel if you are well versed in python you it, it will be a good learning but means you can do it uh, even quicker yeah uh, because uh, th- these two language are, are pretty easy let's suppose you work on on i think you work on dotnet and and other languages and you are familiar with uh, c sharp and c and c plus so of course you working on dotnet so that's a language are uh, working on that but uh, when 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 i start my learning on machine learning for the programming end i used to be learn on r because uh, before that i good at probability and stat topics and uh, i wrote 60 to 40 percent research paper on it so i it started working on that for the research point of view to r or my belief i started my or r when i uh, used to work on machine learning and deep dive for it so i why i choose the way of the python because when i start python it's more than easy to r for me because i have a, some of the background of javascript c and c sharp dotnet but you are working already working on cms and you have an idea of php and html and some of the uh, scripting language and uh, markup language so you can easily learn uh, python and r it's up to you and choose the way uh, it's totally depend on you you are good to go with r or python they both languages are supported on the machine learning path but i would be prefer you learn python to get a more opportunity uh, expect machine learning itself okay thank you anyone else uh yeah daniel this is aniket aniket uh just a quick question so uh, machine learning still uses the rest api right yeah of course so you'd still be calling your dotnet libraries through powershell uh, is that possible you can you can just connect to your rest api and then call whatever it is that you would look, you'd want to or is it probably better off to learn python i i don't know because coming from you know a powershell background that's probably the easiest approach you've got so an api way, you've got powershell i mean mm-hmm. what else do you need if if you are from the powershell background so you are pretty much familiar with the cloud shell and the cloud bash because uh, the two script is merged with the cloud bash but and the rest api with the python uh, I, i would prefer for for you guys to learn python because you have a uh, multiple other opportunity uh, for for the different project you can working on that but are you look quite restrict for that for r studio for the research kind of thing and uh, machine learning itself using the r but if you have a uh, another alternative to learn something so i would prefer good to go with with, with, with python and the rest uh, api i'll just tell you examples of where i've worked with uh, rest api i have i've worked with uh, intune with uh, you know microsoft draft with rest api i have worked mm-hmm. with arm temp- templates with rest api Mm-hmm. so i don't know how different this would uh, actually uh, be mm-hmm. so how different does it give you voice it either of those platforms it's still calling functions from uh, calling its functions from the rest api correct yeah i i, I did not hear because your voice was broke So can you repeat uh, it? Let, let me just put myself on my headset. Just give me one second. Okay, okay, sure. Meanwhile, Daniel, I have one question. Okay. Would they hear? Uh, so, will be there any performance issues while we collect uh, retrieving data from SQL database and manipulating in Azure ML Studio? Uh, do we face any performance issues for database? Uh-huh. no uh, before before for the last 3 years i'm using machine learning studio and i put the, the data and do the same thing uh, i don't feel any issue i am smoothly working with that okay while extracting large set of data sets also we didn't pay, we can't yeah obviously any... you can you can you can see my see my screen there is a 2000 yeah, yeah. raw 75 column that's the data the gallery data and you can put your own data set on it and it's a flexible of it there's a tb of data uh, they can be hosted uh, and the performance will smoothly working okay thank you okay. 
anyone else Kasam, uh, uh, I'm done with that. If uh, someone has a yeah. question, so we Daniel, can facilitate. Uh, Daniel, I, I just put on my headset. Yeah, 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 sure. So how different are those calling functions from REST API uh, as opposed to, you know, me composing stuff on uh, Azure ARM templates or Intune? So uh, you, you talk about to integrate in the REST API of the machine learning studio. Yeah. First, that's, yeah, you, you can you can use the REST API of Machine Learning Studio, and uh, you can you can be used for for let's suppose I, I want to show you the thing. Yeah, this is a this is a left panel. There is a, some of the statistics and uh, the web services are available on it, and you can be input and output side, and you can be managed and call the REST API for that, and you can be easily used. Uh, through the uh, machine learning part and the REST API and the ARM itself, but but uh, but again, uh, it depends on the scenarios what you want to perform through the machine learning and the REST API. Maybe the the the, call, the calling concept. Maybe okay. possible. It depends on the real. So, uh, do you have a graph GUI that actually integrates with your machine learning studio? Yeah, we, we can use the you can easily use the data driven. This is the D three of the library uh, for the for the graph manipulation, the graph representation. There is the uh, other visualization. This is uh, which we can use the library of uh, uh, data driven. Uh, the D three dot org. There is a JavaScript graph, graphic, graphical representation. We can use it for the visualization. I mean, I'm talking about Microsoft Graph Graph Explorer. Hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't use that. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't have much idea about that. I mean, still, uh, my only concern is like you know, if you're still connecting through a REST API and calling functions, why not use a graph? Uh, I mean, the Microsoft Graph Explorer rather than uh, you know, learning something new altogether. Yeah, it depends. I, I I already told you it depends on the project nature. Let's suppose uh, if you want to do uh, some kind that kind of of project, uh, it's already uh, working on the graph API the easily. So why don't you move on the Azure? You can be good to go with that. If you require for that for the machine learning part, the large amount of data, you have a bunch of things, and you have algorithm implemented on that, and that and that much of connection, and they already are connected over here. So you can be use the machine learning. Let's suppose if, if your work uh, move on to the very very easily task performance, so why you choose the other platform? So that's that's the sign. If you are good enough on graph API, so you can use it. But in the machine learning, you have much amount of data for sports side and sports from the metadata, and you can be um, write some of the algorithms of that to perform some particular task. So you, then you can use the uh, the classifiers and the, the machine learning. Now, okay, cool. Thanks. Okay. So, Kasam, anyone else? So, uh, so we can we can call off the session. Daniel, uh, you can provide your Twitter account so that if at all uh, anyone oh, has. Okay, sure, sure, uh, sure. Have uh, like any questions? They can reach you out. Okay, and, you can. Uh, have, this is my detail. Yes, and uh, yes, and uh, thank you everyone for joining. And I'm extremely sorry uh, for what happened in uh, mid. Like I was not aware. Like what? Uh, it was a weird behavior. It got just shut down. I don't know what happened. So sorry and thank you again for joining. And uh, looking forward for your more participation in coming webinars. Uh, thank you, Daniel, for your time, and it was thank really an informative session. Yeah, and thank you so much for all participants. They can uh, get a you know, wonderful job at participating throughout the session, and they can attach. And I'm looking forward to the next session uh, very soon. So this is my information, and all participants can easily reach me on WhatsApp. Uh, you can reach me on that if you have any concern about that, so I can facilitate you. And this is my tutor, my email. Drop me an email, share your feedback. And that's it. Thank you, Carson. Thanks for Thank you. Thank, you, Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye.